Hey, many fish. Happy New Year. January 1st, 2018. And man, I had to share this with you. Most of you probably know Barry Scarborough. If you don't, I'll put a link to his channel. Good man, good channel. Go over there and subscribe. But he did a video the other day about a dream he had uh, about April 6th. And I had just done a video. If you didn't see my last video, uh, that, that it was pretty much all about the 4-6. So I was kind of blown away when I saw this. And now I know that it is related to what I'm talking about because look at his video. 14 minutes and 46 seconds long. I come here and it's the 4620th view. 328 thumbs up is a 13. A 3 and a 1 is a 4 with 6 down. 4, 6. I mean, come on now. Okay? And what he was talking about in this video was a guy named Ron Wyatt. This guy right here. Now, I never knew of this man until these last couple days. And I went and I watched just one of his videos. This 51-minute video here done, I believe, in 1999. This man claims that he's been led by God. And, and quite frankly, my spirit tells me he, he's being honest. He's an honest, godly man. However, whether he's telling the truth or not, I still have to share this with you. But he claims that the Lord led him to find the Ark of the Covenant, which is underneath where Christ was crucified. And he took a sample of the blood that Christ bled when he was pierced, the water and the blood that that ran down to the ground when the big earthquake occurred and the veil to the temple was rent. The earth opened up. The soldier pierced him and the blood and water ran down into the crack onto the Ark of the Covenant as a testimony to Jesus, to, to the Son of God on earth, okay? To be revealed at God's discretion in its due time. And this man back... I don't know how far back he even goes, but it's very intriguing. I just want you to listen to what he says just for this minute here, okay? Listen very closely to the woman's question, too. It's about the blood. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Um, my question is, are you going by sight that you think it was the actual blood? I mean, that it was blood, or was there testing done to make sure that this was blood? We tested it to make sure it was blood. Yes, ma'am, and it's unique blood. When we share, well, I'll quickly state this. I know there's some doctors here and nurses and uh, some anesthetists, people that are familiar with blood. All of us have 46 chromosomes unless we have Down's syndrome, okay? Christ had 24. Each parent supplies 23 chromosomes to a new infant. All right, Christ got 23 from his mother. He got one from his father. There was a Y, which determined that made him a male. He got it from, not from an earthly father, or he would have had 46 like the rest of us. Okay? So anyway, when this is shown, nobody will be able to honestly doubt that this is indeed the blood of God's Son. Amen. And that's why he says this is his testimony of his Son. It's his proof to this world. Yes. All right. So you hear that? The 46 chromosomes, 23 from each parent, the blood that he has claimed to recover of Jesus Christ had 24. 23 from the mother which determined his physical attributes and the one from the father the y chromosome determined his sex and i got verification on that this morning when i was looking through my headlines and i come across this article sue grafton alphabet crime author dies at 77. she was a crime writer best known for creating the alphabet mystery novels Okay, Grafton worked in television. Check this out down here. The first 
was A for Alibi. It was published in 1982, the last Y. Remember what he said? The Y chromosome was the only one he got from the father? It's is for yesterday was published in August. As far as we in the family are concerned, the alphabet now ends at Y, the daughter said in the statement. Okay, 77. Now, this is just wild and crazy. We know that Jesus was the 77th in the line of, of Adam and 14th on the side of Joseph. So this is why he received the 23 from Mary and only the one from Joseph. Now, it doesn't end there. Happy New Year, right? Well, here's a real clincher for you. Um, today's the first, right? The New Year 5778. God's calendar does not start until March of 2018, on the 17th of March. That's when it starts. Nissan 1. Passover begins on the 30th into the 31st. Well, what do you think the chances of from the 1st to the 17th, when the month of Nissan begins, 76 days. Now, remember, Jesus's Mary was 76th in the line of Adam. Mary, 76. The first of Nisan, 76 days away. From today to the uh, actual day of Passover, well, that's just a little bit different. 88 days. The number of Christ. Now, again, this could all be coincidence, you know, really. Uh, but when I saw this article, this woman ending at Y, think about that. That, to me, is what you call verification. <laughs> you got to listen to these videos of this guy, though. You really, really need uh, to, to listen to some of what this man says. It's absolutely astounding. And again, even if he isn't telling the truth, it still proves out the 46, the 23 and the 23, the separation. There's 23 chromosomes in each and every one of us that are good. And then there's 23 that are bad. And there is enmity between them that's what god put there he put enmity between thy seed and her seed meaning satan if i can find it let's see is it genesis 6 no that's when the giants yeah it, let me just jump to that real quick so the very next day or the very same day i don't know i forget but barry puts up another video and he's talking about knowing your enemies. And he talks about the Nephilim were on the earth in those days. Look at this. Genesis chapter 6, 4. 4, 6. And that's what it's all about. These guys are the bad 23. Okay? That's who these guys are. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that. When the sons of God came unto the daughters of men. You see what I'm talking about? This is the evil infiltration, if you will, that's been with us since the beginning. This is the malady of mankind. Period. It's amazing stuff, you guys. I'm trying to find the uh, where he puts, and I will put enmity, hatred, between the Satan and the woman, and between his seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise thy heel. And you all know the story of Jacob, Esau, the whole. It's just absolutely amazing. How do you think that the uh, skull and bones use 322? Because the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us, to know good and evil. Do you know that ye are gods? 
Okay, and now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. And that's what these Nimrodian, weirdo, freak, satanic Luciferians are trying to do. They're trying to circumvent God and judgment and eat of the tree of life and still be able to do all their child raping and everything else. And, you know, circumvent judgment. It's not going to happen. But I really thought that that was absolutely amazing, man. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Barry. I don't even know if he knows what he just led me to. But this is just completely and freaky wild. I'm going to link all this stuff. You've got to look into this stuff for yourself. It is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. 77 days from now. 14 after that. Passover. Crazy. But there you have it. So, Happy New Year to all you guys. Seriously. And, you know, I really, really am appreciative that you guys find, find my videos worthy of looking at. I just want to spread the word of Jesus, the, the news of salvation before it's too late for the world, because we're in the times where, uh, over and over again, I can't help it, I gotta tell you, man, these are the days where men's hearts will fail them if you're not on the rock, and Jesus is that rock, he is the key, he is the truth, he is the way, he is the life, so seek him today. First day, your resolution, seek Jesus. How's that? Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 